So how is it going everybody? Welcome back to Zombies Archives. And today we are going to continue the Zombies Archives basically. If you guys are unfamiliar of what Zombies Archives is, it's basically this series where I cover all the maps that exist in chronological order, including all the custom maps from Bow of World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3. Basically everything you can imagine. Yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of a look on uh, what is possible, what is not possible. Maybe have a little chat if uh, with you guys along the way, if you guys are enjoying that. And uh, we're starting with a map called HQ and basically with these streams, I'm gonna try and uh, get as many of the, as many maps covered basically, as many maps uh, grinded as possible and uh, yeah we're starting here HQ we already have the first round done uh, this is a very Varuk style for uh, Varuk inspired map I would say you have two different spawn points and a lot of it is very identical I believe this is actually the good side you want to spawn on it basically feels like it's a uh, bit of a like prototype of Varuk well this came out much later but that is basically the best way I can describe this to be quite honest with you guys also I guess what we can talk about a little bit is the tournament because as you guys are maybe aware at least the viewers that are here i have been uh, on the on the tournament and i've been doing my attempt the last monday and the reason i've done i've done that like that soon is because uh my boy wild rush he only had time that day and we are currently eighth and eight of the 16 teams will be eliminated so we are basically on the chopping block right now if any team is gonna outdo our run of round 32 we are done basically but not completely done there will be a comeback round where you can have one more challenge round in the third week of the tournament and in that week we're gonna get one more chance but from what i've heard we don't we don't know what it's going to be it's gonna be extremely difficult to get out of that and uh, move on to the round after that so yeah we're gonna have to have our fingers crossed and really get ourselves trained for when that opportunity arises so hence why i'm here right now practicing as much zombies as I can and I feel like that's what I'm going to dedicate this next week up to so if you guys are excited for that then uh, do let me know down in the comments or smash the like button if you guys would smash the like button for me that would be absolutely appreciated and uh, do stick around my plan is to at least for this week and uh, the upcoming one to uh, have some grinding on the streams at least three times a week but maybe if i can actually get it done we can do this like every day but uh yeah we're gonna have to see hopefully the comeback round isn't knife only on origins or something nuts like that yeah <laughs> i wouldn't want it to be that strict like i know i know um how strict some of the challenges can be based on my exper on my past experience Luckily, knife only is not something we've had before, but you never you never know with uh, Kodak. Like, I know him longer than today. I'm still in it. I'm still... Uh, game? Fine. Okay, the game just froze for like two seconds or something. But uh, true that, Shark. True that. We're still in it right now. And I gotta believe... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to believe that we are still possibly uh, capable of actually uh, getting through it. And so I will. But uh, yeah. There are, I believe, six more teams that uh, have to make their submission. We're gonna have to get our fingers crossed for that and see. Anyway, we have another door and we have a power switch over here. And then there's our mystery box. I have played this map prior, so I kind of know what I'm doing. That's uh, something that later down the line won't be much of a thing. But right now, because uh, I have done Zombies Archives quite amount of times and I've rebooted the series quite a couple of times because I wasn't really happy with the quality of my content back in that day. But, uh, oh. Oh, I don't even have enough of Jug yet, damn. The only person safe right now is Icy and Doc. Yeah, basically. If literally everyone else is right now going to uh, be extremely good at zombies, then literally everyone who has done their attempt right now is just gone, except for uh, Icy. Let's hope Kodak dies on Route 8. I, c I cannot imagine that happening, but it would be super funny. It would be really super funny. All right, let's get Jug before we're actually going to embarrass ourselves here. So, yeah. I'm basically gonna try and get as high as possible here and uh, have a little talk with you guys. I had no idea that Icy and Doc would do that good. I mean, I honestly don't really know them very well, but uh, yeah, I mean, they see they seemed like good they seemed like good people in, with zombies from what I've seen from them. So yeah, trash love only play with random for fun. I mean, that's that's more than what I do basically. I normally just <laughs> play, play alone. But uh, that's also why I'm re I really like this tournament, this vibe that we're getting. Like, I get so many more people to actually, like, talk and play zombies about. Like, it's so good. I have underestimated Doc's zombie skills. I, I honestly thought Dr. Zombie or Charles 
that he was gonna choke somewhere but honestly he i cannot be mad how good he was 22 downs seriously i don't think i saw that many downs i might have to rewatch that then there we go Ooh, go back time out and wait oh wait okay so there's some kind of button i need to press somewhere i kind of forgot about that uh where is it though hello was it here Oh yeah, it's here. 10,000 points to actually go to do that. Doc put it into work. Yeah, he certainly did. I'm not gonna lie. I was watching the stream at the beginning and I was hoping uh, you guys would uh, die soon. But the moment the moment I saw you guys made it to like round uh, past the, the death room, I was like, okay, GG's. That's 2 I am in the morning for me. I'll, I'll just see whatever happens. And uh, we got a ray gun. And in, this, in this game, it's actually pretty good to have a ray gun somehow. Pretty sure he at least got like 20... And one of them because was because of Kodik. Was that because he was, like, reading the chat? Wow, that's awesome, yeah. Right, let's get that nuke. I kind of need to grind for points. Because I know that door... What's behind... Like, speed call is behind this door. And we basically need 10k for that. God, some instant kill. My... Oh, wow, that is weird. I guess I reinstalled this game or something. What is normally my knife button is not my knife button right now. So that's uh, a bit freaky. Let's actually change that around. Uh, controls, combat, and then it's, like, my way to go. Is this... Yeah, this is still grenade throwing. I cannot test my secondary, but... There are also not really monkeys for this map anyway, so hey. Uh, bar, no thank you. Dog is just trying to get the best down of Deuce 3. I think I also, by the way, I think I already have the goofiest down for this season with how I died. That's all. That's also a bit of a bummer. That's kind of also the reason why we're getting eliminated is because, like, we did really good. We had our setup to actually get very far and then literally... Like, Wild Rush went down, and all I could do was try and revive and shoot at the same time. And then for some reason, my blast just didn't go off. Like, yeah, I just I just spammed the living shit out of my mouse, but nothing shot out. I don't know what happened there. The death was such BS, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I mean, what I have with my mouse sometimes is sometimes it just doesn't react to my mouse clicking. And it's really frustrating. It's one of the more expensive mouses from Corsair, I believe. And it's really weird that uh, that happened, but uh, what can you do, really? What I can do right now is practice, get to the combat ground, and just just come come out a winner. And so that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Also, why in the hell did I buy the STG? The STG is not good in this game. I would much rather go for an MP40. Maybe your character was stunned by getting hit by zombies. I don't know if that worked. Yeah, I, I have no idea either. Maybe, maybe it was just some kind of fate. I was like, bro, I see you're doing well. But you're, you're, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to like get into the combat round, man. You're gonna have to like <laughs> earn your earn your uh, way that way. It's fine, you know. It's fine. We still have some. We still have some ways to actually. Uh... And until then, I'm just gonna have my head up high. Almost getting to 10k, by the way, so we can uh, have a final look at the final room. So how got, how high do you guys think we're going to get with this map, by the way? And do you guys are you guys interested in high rounding? See see me high high rounding this because I would be down. Then I'll uh, download a few more. But uh, I have two downloaded for sure. So if we're going to uh, be finished with this one, we still have another one. 23 interesting it is a tight map so i'll give you i'll give you the i'll, I'll give it to you that it's a very accurate uh, prediction but i'm i'm curious to see if i can beat that now also let's see we want to open this up i don't have enough oh yeah of course i forgot about this yeah <laughs> this game is brutal if you want to uh, get speed cola here it's really ridiculous i guess i keep this door closed yeah that's probably best at least that way i can manipulate the spawns a little bit is that Oh, come on. I just bought ammo. I mean, MP40 ammo isn't that expensive, but still. Favorite version of the MP40? I don't like... I mean, I don't mind it in World of War. But I feel like where it shines the most is BO2 with Origins. I really like how it plays there. It's really powerful there. And everything, everywhere else, I feel like it's pretty weak. It's it's weak in BO1. It's certainly the, wor the worst gun to pick in BO3. Like, just do not pick it. Oh, no. How often did I get hit there? What was that? Like, either three or four hits. That's a big rip. Okay, we're gonna try that again. That was, that was, that was not uh, far enough. Okay, I'm gonna have to reload this. MG42. Okay, we can, we can fight with this. We can definitely fight with this. I hate when my reload speed is low. I despise it more than having slow movement speed. Because at least with, my, with slow movement speed, I still know what I'm doing. Yeah, the recoil is strange. The recoil is really strange. I would usually go for that nuke, but we need to grind points. Yeah, it's gonna be much easier to actually beat this now. Round 23, here we come. I'll take this. I'll take this. I will take this. We're actually a lot more than I was thinking, but okay. Opening this, and then finally getting in here. Although we are not even having nearly close done enough points for this okay type 99 type 100 and a speed cola there are some mountables here but i don't know if i can't reach that can i reach it with this no i cannot okay then what's the point of being here then oh my god oh my god that's a lot that's a 
Hey, 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 MB40 is already garbage, man. Wow. It's also not like I can upgrade its power. There's also no Pack-a-Punch here because for Rook style. The guns in there were terrible, so I'm not gonna go for that. I think that's uh, still smarter to go to. Can't wait for the old CODs to be added to the game pass. Gonna see so many players along. I really want that to happen. I actually low-key already have Xbox Game Pass for a very long time. And I kind of hope it's also gonna be included in uh, the PC package. If it's gonna be included in the PC package, we're gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna play the hell out of that. I'm, I'm like, maybe if that happens, I might start a series where I'm going to try and uh, pre max prestige in every single call of old Call of Duty. I might do that. If that would be fun for you guys, just let me know. That would be amazing. I, I would love to do that. Because X Defiant is still taking forever to come out. I've been wanting to make videos of that, but uh, beta was too short. Also, Starfield. Starfield is going to be a game I'm likely going to experiment with content. Maybe streaming that as well. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that game. And double barrel shotgun, okay. The box is not nice to me today. Uh, we have the MP42, but we're also not really getting a lot of ammo for that. I don't even have more ammo to buy more M more money, sorry, to buy MP40 ammo. Matchmaking fix bought, brought back a decent amount of players, so can't even imagine. I mean, honestly, we need it. We really need it. I mean, my hype also for x Defined isn't down completely, but they need to act. They need to act sooner or later now like people have summer break now you know and about if, if they're gonna wait until like uh call of duty is gonna come out that is the worst thing they can do that is the absolute worst also when i think about it when, when, with call of duty and everything apparently rumors are out that uh, that uh, microsoft also wants to offer or provide nintendo with call of duties for the next 10 years so what i'm thinking what might happen seeing how the trend is with re-releasing old games on the nintendo switch we might actually see uh some of the old cuts released on that although i don't really know in what capacity because i'm not sure if that if if uh online lobbies can be alive in uh old games like that but yeah i mean there's there's clear demand for it so i wouldn't be surprised if it would if it would happen honestly and i would play the i would play the shit out of nintendo call of duty honestly Okay, there we go. This is something we need. BBSH can still do some decent damage here, so let's see. I can always also exchange it with uh, the MP40. Wii version of Kino Remastered. Honestly? I might, wanna, I, I might play that. I could play that on stream. I have like a Dolphin emulator, so like... I don't have Black Ops 1. Where did I buy it? I think I bought it one day when I think about it. I can't I can look it up. I think I saw it in like a thrift store or something. I miss the Wii so much. Bro, it's still fun playing with some games. If you have some games and you have the Dolphin emulator, like... Try and download some games that you remember from that time. And you can just like HDFI all of them. And they look fantastic. Good suggestion, I would say. Mario Kart Wii. If you're going to play something on the Wii, play that game. And uh, try and look up some mods with that. Like the mods are insane for Mario Kart Wii. I would love to keep the, the weapons. but Oh, wait. I forgot. Okay, I forgot about the uh, MC42. But I'm dumb because I haven't reloaded this thing. Okay, we have it. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Oh. Round 23 is gonna be tight, man. I swear I was the only kid that didn't have a Wii. I'm surprised by how many uh, people in the Call of Duty community ha have a Wii. I'm really surprised by that. For the longest time, I saw Nintendo gaming and Call of Duty gaming as two completely different realms from each other. So when I was making a channel, like I, I am a fan of both realms in my mind, you know? But in my mind, I, I felt like I always had to choose. Like, do I either do Nintendo content or, or Zombies content? I have experimented with uh, some Mario content in the past, though. And they got they got watched pretty decently, I would say, for my channel. So I might bring something like that back. Actually, I'm now that I think about it, I'm also really working on another project that doesn't involve just zombies. Uh, it just needs to have some more finishing touches with that. But, uh, yeah. Seeing how the times are right now, it's just much smarter for me to play some Call of Duty Zombies. And I uh, hope you guys are actually, like, excited for that. Maybe when the tournament is over, maybe I'll even do something like that when the tournament is not over already. They were your childhood consoles. So are mine, man. They've, they've been my consoles for a very long time, actually. Like, I, I might seem like I'm a veteran Call of Duty Zombies player, and I kind of am. But maybe for some others, it's not really that much like i started very late i started becoming a cult fan very late we had like like a week before the tournament started we actually had some open grief sessions where we uh played some grief and talked and just had some fun there 
And then I think Kodak raised the question of like, what were, what were your first COD? And then everyone was surprised when I had to say my first COD was uh, Black Ops 2. At least for zombies. Like I played some Modern Warfare 3 before that uh, when I visited a friend of mine who had an Xbox 360. And before that, I only had Nintendo consoles. And then he basically sold me towards getting over Nintendo and just uh, try something something else to be able to like play with my friends there. Oh god, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, I know how to train at least, guys. I know how to train. If, if the combat round is gonna consist of training, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be competition. There are also no traps here, are there? No, there are no traps on this map. PS2, DSi, and Wii. Favorite games of there were Jack and Dexter. Never played that one, but I saw some things about that. That's interesting. Pokemon Soul Silver and Smash Bros. Brawl. Good games. I still regret uh, regret not playing Hard Gold or Soul Silver very thoroughly. I played it like for the first two towns or so. But otherwise, I'm a very big uh, Pokemon fan. I played a lot of other Pokemon. Might be something I'll revisit one day. Maybe for the channel even. Also, round 23. Let's go. I totally forgot about that. Uh, let's see if we can beat this round. And then I see you had a PS2, DS, and Xbox 360. I basically have all the Nintendo consoles, except for the SNES. You guys even know what that is. And it's really a bummer because I believe that that back in the day was one of the better consoles. Soul Silver and Hard Gold were my favorite because you get two regions reimagined in a modern game. Basically, yeah. I, I feel like I would enjoy it because, like, I think that the first Pokemon game I actually completed was uh, Leaf Green. Yeah, I was that kid. I was that kind of kid. I didn't take Fire Red. I was more <laughs> a fan of Venusaur back in the day. I'm now a, I'm now a complete Charizard fan. But back in the day, I, I liked being different <laughs> and went for Venusaur because he was the because Bulbasaur was the first Pokemon in the Pokedex. And I am very, I can be very OCD oriented. So I was like, yeah, this, this is, this is what I want. Where are the max ammos at, boys? Jesus, Grism. Grism, if you, if you're watching this, uh, hit a like, hit a like, leave a comment. <laughs> no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, and I and I escaped again. What? I don't even know. I don't even know with this game, man. Uh, okay, now I think we're done. Now, I think I think we're done. I think yeah. <laughs> Round 24, though. That's really that's really not bad. I'm happy with that, especially considering what kind of map this was. 